unique fundraising event to benefit Kirkwood students. Fox 2's Michaela McGee has more on how the funds will help them realize their dreams of going to college. Kirkwood teachers of color wanted to find a way to help students of color in their district further their education beyond high school. They've come up with the Glory Run Walk Virtual Marathon. This is just a way for us to support our students in making sure that they can go further. Ramona Miller is an assistant principal at Kirkwood High School and a member of the Kirkwood Teachers of Color. She and her colleagues want to give students of color in their district a chance of a brighter future. So they organized the virtual marathon to raise funds for the first Kirkwood Teachers of Color scholarship. This will be a scholarship that we will have each year that we will give out to one student. They will apply. Uh, it will be a student of color in, in the Kirkwood School District. And we are hopeful that when we are long gone from Kirkwood, that this is a perpetual scholarship and that this will continue to go on to support our students of color. The Glory Run Walk or Bike Virtual Marathon is only $30 to register, which scores you a T-shirt. Participants will have the entire month of October to complete 26.2 miles on their feet or 100 miles on a bike. More than 600 people are currently registered and they have exceeded their fundraising goal of $20,000. But more registrations and donations are welcome. We're asking you to register by October 4th and to get out there, get active and help us raise money for our Kirkwood Teachers of Color Scholarship. And if you're not really the working out type, we have an option for those who are couch runners that they can make a donation, receive the t-shirt and never have to leave their couch. Ramona says they're doing this because they don't want any of their students to feel their future is limited because of financial needs. To see how you can get involved, you can visit our website at fox2now.com. Reporting, Michaela McGee, Fox 2 News.